I'm going to use this as a proof of MK Ultra because I did identify the lady who eventually came to to insult me literally in the face, called me mentally ill. Right now, uh, right here at the doorsteps, and um, she used to work at the at the police department. Proudly, so she stated me. Uh, but then I proceeded and I actually identified her. Uh, her boss, her owner, practically, her boss was this man here. I already have spoken about this guy. His name is Jan Zogulin. This individual here. This used to be a novel master director, novel master director of police. And this individual really is mentally ill. I mean, this is a living proof that this, indivi this individual was severely mentally ill. This guy was looking, he hired absolutely anybody, whoever was willing to do damage, hurt, uh, cause pain, suffering, get involved in a torture. This guy actually rewarded this lady. He rewarded her probably with the overtime. He rewarded her in many ways so she could make money. And I think it was more than overtime in this whole thing. I had to participate. I was tortured during, literally during, whenever she was purchasing cars. Not only this one, uh, the one I'm going to be talking about. Um, at the Red Cross, at the local Red Cross in Olmes, the Red Cross at the Beatrice Kriš. No. They tortured at this place, uh, at Novo Mesto, Ardeci Kriš, Slovenia. They tortured at this place already since. I think it was 1995, they were already here in Novo Mesto. Uh, one of the oldest, most criminal businesses involved in this genocide against me was Red Cross of Slovenia. Um, she works there, apparently, maybe as a volunteer, I have no idea what. Um, whether she's compensated or she's not compensated. Uh, she worked at the local police department, but as I pointed her out, this was her boss. Uh, like I said, her owner, her boss. Uh, I, to I told her... She also worked at this location here which is going to be evident from audio recording. And uh, this is not in Novo Mesto. This is all the way to Dolenske, to Plitze. So this was a cleaning lady. Are we going to get some uh, map here? No? Oh. All right, so I'm going to do it like this. And we're going to go here. If that's too much of a trouble, we, I'm just going to use... It doesn't matter. There's a police station, this Dolenske to Plitze. And then there is a novel Mesto. Okay, so... Uh, so basically, this is, this, is, this is what this is. So this is, what, 12 kilometers from here. Um, she also worked here at the Lenske to Plitze, also. They have a police station. Yeah. So. This police station was involved in MK Ultra. Um, it's a small police station. Uh, but police station is a police station. It was uh, Mount Everest of physical torture 
at Dolenske to Plitze. Uh, police left nothing to coincidence. They uh, they wanted uh, they celebrated killing. Uh, I suppose of their uh, newly founded uh, freedom, Slovenian freedom, uh, the independent Slovenian state. So, the one who did the damage more than anybody else was the police, Slovenian police. Those that were under command of Milan Kuchan, and for Milan Kuchan, we already have discussed about. Milan Kuch and Borut Pavel. So she comes to the doorways, to the doorsteps, and she calls me basically mentally ill. That's what director of Novo Mesto uh, police station was very, very much certain. He was he was totally certain that he's gonna get something from me that I will give uh, attitude I'll be angry uh, you know that kind of stuff right so it looks like things did not go so well uh, since this video also is going to be about I'm gonna mention this girl here uh, let's look at that okay. Is was my she was involved in MK Ultra just as all the people uh, that she's involved with were involved in MK Ultra from South Africa. Whatever she travels, these people were all involved in MK Ultra. Um, these people were involved in MK Ultra longer than she was, much longer. But what is interesting, I learned that uh, United States of America, greater than Great Britain, I should say, excuse me, United Kingdom, uh, Germany, the Deutschland, uh, Italy, Italia, uh, it appears to me that they actually would use native people throughout the world, whatever they would, for whatever purposes they did that. And uh, afterwards, they would assign to the certain regions, certain people uh, that would take over. So to put it plain and simple, how and why and so on. Uh, let me go to, to, uh, to a little, uh, just to the audio recording here, so. Uh, by the way, today is December the 12th, 2023. So this is, I get a ring, so I go downstairs and I meet me. Why don't I also amplify this stuff here? But I actually like this stuff. Is Jana Zogolin was so certain, director of Novo Mesto Police, now retired director, was so certain that he will fuck me. And so I actually really, really like, and I want to, I want to say thank you big time, because I think it's like a really beautiful gift, this whole thing. Yeah. I am sure going to use this against you. He stated me that what he's going to do is not going to be nice and right, but he will do it. Uh, so the lady, uh, I opened the door for her and I, uh, she asked me where, where do I have my mom? And my mom is upstairs. So I'm going to amplify this just a little bit so you can. I tell her mom is upstairs uh, and 
uh, and she says, uh, bring her over, bring her over downstairs. You know, she has this little bag. So let me demonstrate to you. She has this little bags in her hands. And she wants to see mom. I tell her she's going to come now. I go and I ring one more time so the mom could see. So the lady is, the lady is a little bit nervous. So I look at her and she's kind of nervous, I see. I said, you have a you have a new car, no? Uh, oh, I have it four years already. She says, I have it four years already. Oh, it's already four years old, I say. Okay. She says, yeah, four years. It's a good car, no? She says, yeah. Uh, I don't know what she said. She says, a very good car because I bought it new. She said, I was 63 years old when first time I uh, afforded myself a car. And, you know, she's looking at me and she's laughing, actually. You know? Boy. So, you know, I asked her, I said, how old were you? She says, 63 years old, when I bought myself first car in my life, a new car. I bought a brand new car for the first time in my life when I was 63 years old. Yeah, the first time that I was able to afford myself a new car, I was 63 years old. I says, and so where, where did you work? She says, the police. The police. The police is there. Yeah. Uh, I said, the police, really? Pa, I said, but you were a cleaning lady, right? Yeah. She says, yes. I says, I, I remember. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Drlenska to play the show, no? Yeah, I'm going to go to the Drlenska to play the So, I ask her, I said, but sometimes you also travel to Drlenska to play it to this place, at the police station. No? Sometimes you also travel to this police station here at Drlenska to play it. And uh, she said, I did, I did. How do you, how do you know that? I said, I traveled with you. I mean, we went together. No? She says, how do you know? I, I tell her, uh, I was with you. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Drlenska to play the show, no? Yeah, how did you do that? I was with you, So, a cleaning lady, and she also worked at this remote police station. Yeah. What's up? What's Mati! The lady gets nervous and uh, starts calling Mama. Hi, Adol. Hi, uh, uh, tells me that she was a cleaning lady after I asked her how long she was a cleaning lady for. She gives me an answer, 20 years. Uh, uh, I think that she worked at, uh, not I, not that I think, she worked at the local, what was, Industria Motorni Vazir, Revoz, Renault, whatever you want to call that. 
but for the last 20 years prior to retirement, she did work as a cleaning lady at the uh, Nova Mesta police station. I remember everything about how she got into the cross, how she got into the Red Cross, absolutely everything. She has been with the Red Cross already for some time, you know. She's been already with the Red Cross for some time. I remember when she became interested in getting in a Red Cross. Uh, I don't know why, but it was a rough time for me. So, yeah, she was married, she has grandkids already. So, I remind her, you know, I tell her, uh, you have a house, and, you know, she says, grandkids and so on, you know, I said to her, because she said, since you said, like, you were 63 years old, it was the first time that you afforded yourself something like new car, right? I mean, um, she tells me about a uh, new car like this was 11,000. Automobile, <laughs> Alright, so I tell her I go upstairs to, to look for mom. We did spoke a little bit about cars. She told me they only had uh, station wagons, big cars and so on. The only car that she wanted was a small car, they didn't have any, so she went ahead and purchased her a new car. I tell her, yeah, that's a smart thing to do because you don't get a new car that is uh, in a good shape. Usually, small cars uh, are driven completely worn out and are not a good bargain, not a good purchase. That's the guy mama speed. So I remember back and I tell her, you know what, mom is sleeping. I, I did go upstairs, I looked for mom, and mom is sleeping, obviously. Uh -huh. Lay, speak. Lay, speak. Lay. Yeah. Lay. Yeah. Uh, she gives the three packages, and uh, I noticed there's a chocolate in there. Okay, let me demonstrate you. Like this, a cookies. I like this cookie better. So I, I, I am a little bit funny. I said, oh, perfect, this chocolates. She said, for you, for mom, for father. Uh, and I said, oh, there's chocolate in there. Oh, perfect, perfect. I said, uh, I just, I, I thought I'm just kidding. I'm going to give her. No worries. <laughs> so she's I not aware about laughing. I we didn't bought a deal. Let's get to the same one. I did to the Deja Krija. To the other Deja Krija. So now, like, Tipa Dubiza took a sibulant.
uh, she says to me, uh, we had good laughter and she's about to leave and she says to me, um, I think she said that this is what we get for the new year as a gift from the Red Cross. Uh, and for you, she says, you get this because you are sick. Nice people, what can I say? Uh, she says, you get this, <laughs> I'm going to repeat, you get this because you're sick, I was the one, I got you this, otherwise you would not get anyway. And I look at her and I said, uh, hold on lady, I said, what do you mean by this, that uh, I am sick, ill? Uh, and I am, I am smiling, and she says, sick, sick. <laughs> She's like, sick, ill. I said, how, how, <laughs> I don't know, how, how sick, how ill. She says, sick, sick. Yeah. Is this again? Yeah. So I want to I want to clarify this issue and I and I said to her, but you know, this is not very nice if you said to somebody that he is sick, but you don't tell him. Uh, like I asked her, you know, how 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 am I sick? Uh, you know, if if the person asks you, asks you, uh, you know, you say that, that he is sick, and and you know he's asking you how how am I sick, how am I ill, and you don't explain why. I said that's not nice. Yeah, don't trust if I do not just any easy that you could trust me more than Okay, so she says if if you're not okay, uh, it was a time where you were. It was sometimes. It was time when you were ill, when you were sick. She says, as a child, as a child, as a child, she changes into a child. I don't know anything about that stuff, but um, that's an interesting lady, anyways. Um, I said, I said, I said, how, how is this as a child? How, how sick? Please tell me, you know, I tell her nice I tell her, you know, this is not a very pretty gift, no. I tell her, that's not a nice gift. And she says to me, well, it's yours anyways. She says it belongs to you. Ah, yeah, I said that. Tebi, tebi fa un moje, kom še, nadi reptovi ki ba ona, ne, tako, ne, ona ni zdaj ba ona več. She mentioned some other lady here from the village, but she had a problem with walking or something like that. Ona že hoti no se, ampak ona to dobi. Pa un, veš kot je, od Petra. <laughs> she wraps it up. She don't want to tell anything anymore. She says, you know what? This is the way it is. Be good. Be nice. Love your mama. Yeah. Uh -huh. Respect your mama. She is a very nice, hard worker. She goes to father every day. And she's poor. She is, uh, I said, no, she's not poor. I said, what do you mean that she's, she's poor? That she is what? Why do you think? Why, where do you get this kind of impression? 
там много чего. Друга и друга там много. Сам. Да. Политичен ствар е, не? Само зле и смислам, кај е Бога? Да ма, ја, лей. Кај, не кај. I tell her, uh, you know, a political stuff is in this case, in our case, and everybody knows this lady knows more than anybody, actually almost more than anybody, she knows very good. Uh, I tell her, I don't know, the political thing is, you know, but that doesn't mean that my mom is poor because of this. Tako je hoće, tako hoće, tako u časih u penom, u časih jo ne, ko kar jo prijme. Nisem, nisem, jaz sem jim povedal, naj tega ne dela. Tu sem vam, tu sem vsem povedal, naj fotra ne naredijo tega. Ja, nisem. Kaj čmo, ljudi, ne morajo, ne morajo čestujiti, ne? Ne mora če sluje, tlej ne da, da bi bilo bolj, veš? Ne vem, nisem ne razumem tega, spod, kaj, kako hoče povedati. In nisem ne razumem. Ok, we start to talk a little bit like in an Orwellian way, you know. She's like, like she doesn't know anything, but she knows everything, you know. I was really, really nice with my mom. I covered up for my mom. Uh, I tried my best, but the thing is that, um, let me explain something. Uh, when you have people acting like my mother does, it's because they already have a place to go, because they already have solution on the picture. Otherwise, people don't act like this. People act like this when they have already, when they are part of the matrix. Uh, she's a broker. She's a broker between the police, between the psychiatrist, local police, and myself here. That's all there is. It's like a waiter. Next to being waiter, um, she's also a little bit extra. And I don't believe that she sees me as equal. This is a symptom that people who were involved in MKUltra have suffered enormously from. People that do MKUltra do not see people on whom they practice their ritual as equal. They see them as, they see them even as animal. I was even seen as a dog, actually, by some people. Like, for instance, I think Queen Elizabeth, allow herself a little extra uh, Barack Obama compared me to the dog to the dogs to his dog um, it was quite a few politicians that in fact even allowed themselves a view of me like an animal basically um, then you have other politicians like Bush family and uh, Donald Trump and others uh, who saw in me a rabbit, let's say, you know, rabbit in the White House and so on, that kind of stuff. Um, simply um, being uh, seen as a subhuman being for such a long time, uh, the perception about one is... Uh, is such as uh, you would uh, view, uh, you would have a view on somebody as a subhuman being or something like that, pretty much. Uh, I don't object to this. I don't, I don't object to it. I don't care about any of that. Even the lady I'm talking to right there, she doesn't see me as a human being. She sees me as somebody that needs to be walked all over, basically. That is the kind of, you know, and then it's everybody that was involved in MK Ultra was your mommy, your daddy, uh, but, you know, I like your mommy and I like your daddy and so on and so forth, you know. Um, 
And you could, but you will not in terms of saving one and so on and leaving all kinds of subtle signs about, you know, they're watching us. It's going to be this and then it's going to be too late. You know, they warn all the time how it's going to be too late. But, you know, she delivers all the time. She delivers like Express, like a fucking Express One or DHL or something like that. She delivers shit all the time. She bombards with the issues. Finally, I have to say she was the one who got the father inside of the home for elderly people. I'm not going to even say that he was not the one who wouldn't want to go there on his own. It was not his own decision. Um, but, you know, um, I don't think it was. I think he was tortured by the police. I have seen one being tortured by the police. Uh, finally, he got himself in those circumstances. That means it was the mother that got him in it. I'm sure if somebody would tell him, hey, man, here's a little pill, uh, and you're going to swallow this one, and the next day you're going to get stroke, and then you're going to spend one year on the bed, ridden, bedridden, uh, and you know, you're going to be playing based on what we have had exercised previously with police. So we're going to drive him nuts and so on. Uh, he would probably not want to go. Even if he would want to go, he would not want to have that kind of assignment, I'm sure. But it's the environment he is surrounded with, just like I am. And, uh, you know, everybody makes his own decisions. Nobody here is a teenager. Nobody is here underage or anything like this. They made this kind of decisions, called them right or wrong. Uh, I'm here, and I'm here to stay. When she says she goes to the father for a visit, I tell her, I'm really, really glad I tell her that she goes to father for a visit. Actually, I tell her, I offer her transport, there, back, whatever she wants. It's a low red, though. It's a loser of the sale. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, some of the artistic drawings, so many things are the one. A practice of Pagrena and Naranus and Policia. I tell her, I'm really pleased. She goes visit father, everything. What bothers me, however, I tell her, it's that other stuff. She does. And that one is tied straight to the police. Now, it doesn't make any sense to talk about it because she works. She used to work for the police, right? So it doesn't make sense. I just want okay. to clarify. Okay. 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 Um, the lady tells me that she has something in her heart, very difficult, my mom, therefore, and uh, she is keeping this to her and doesn't want to tell me. Uh, I don't think so that I need to hear anything from anybody about having any kind of issues that would have a difficulty to discuss with me, you know. Come on. Um, when I consider what was done with me, what was done to me, uh, I am a reasonable person. You know, you can hear me. I'm talking to the lady here. I'm very reasonable. I tell her, you know, you say, like your mama, you know, well, the thing is that, the thing is that I started a little earlier when I stated, my mom behaves like this because it's all programmed. She, she's doing her part exactly according to what they agreed upon. And I know she's doing this because she has a place to go. Nobody crazy would go. Nobody who would 
understand is going to have to go to the court and deal with the police procedure would do the stuff my mama does. Nobody's sane. So the only people who do that kind of stuff are people who already have a place to go and are sticking on a picture to cause as much damage, as much harm as possible before they disappear. And they do this stuff because everybody's doing its part a little bit. And when everybody's doing its little part, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, to realize the final picture, and we know all that, what that is, um, that's all there is to it. People like this also have a plan to come back because they wouldn't be doing stuff like this if they wouldn't have. People like this do the stuff also for other people, like for, she does it for my niece. Uh, she does it for my niece, Urska Golov Weber, uh, and people like this have no fucking feelings because they're like machines. They do the job, they do the job, police assignments, they do it like automated, like, like machines, like a robot, without involving absolutely any kind of feelings. There is no mama and papa and son in my mother's head. She is doing this robotically. She is doing this like, uh, like this, actually. The only people who do this stuff like this are the people that I already stated to you, okay? Even the people who don't fear because they're part of the system, basically. I tell the lady, not what I stated to you right now, but I tell the lady, I said to her, you know, there's very few people in this world that love mom and father as much as I do. And what I try to tell her is that this is the fucking problem. This is the biggest problem. Um, my mom knows that. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch knew that. Psychiatrists from Ljubljana Polje were laughing at me during that culture because I love my mom and my father so much. So despite being tortured, that's right. So uh, they're taking an extra advantage of it. They're getting back at me and they're taking extra and cause extra harm. And that kind of relationship, when you love somebody and you try to save actually somebody that is in it to fuck you, destroy you, melt you down is toxic relationship. And you're only gonna go that far, but not any further. So the safest thing is to do exactly the same as she does. And that basically is to keep the safe distance. I no longer am trying to change things that they dictated so far. So I tell her very few people love mama and, and, and father as much as I do. She, she, she tells me, you see, uh, that is very good. No, no, I need some three days though. Yeah. To need to be just... No, I'm going to do the situation that I'm going to do. How would it be? How would it be? Adio, I will say the same thing. I tell her, if it was somebody else in my situation, I don't know how that would be like. Yeah. She says, goodbye, have a happy holidays. Follow on. I, I tell her, thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, I did identify a lady, was a cleaning lady at a police station next to the normal mess of police where she worked for Janis Sogolin at the main police station. She also works at the Landscape of Police. And I think, I think that her work require her to do stuff like this due to hours, you know, so she could get work hours, that kind of stuff. Uh, extra work hours basically earn more money, that kind of stuff. That's what I mean. So,
But this here, this is my mother's work, basically. This, this kind of stuff. This is what this is. Here are the biscuits. Uh, it seems like uh, novel master police director had a problem with the Israel. I don't know what his problems are. I already explained to you about what went on with the Israel and novel master police station. Anywhere from what police director claimed me literally were cameras at the novel master police station tied straight to the Israel. That is a cameras and even inside of the our house is what he claimed. And this cameras, uh, everything Israel, everything was Israel. For him, everything was Israel. Uh, but this was to remind me of Israel, Yafa. That's what Slovenian police used all the time. And then there's another one that my mother just delivered, such as this year. This was the Coco girl who was here in the city of Novomesto came for a visit. Supposedly, the rice that she liked was exactly the rice that I demonstrated. This was the rice for her. And that would mean, according to the novel master police, to the uh, to uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, that she would come. And, but this is the rice that she would. Supposedly a cocoa girl liked it. I mean, I'm just saying because we never buy this kind of rice. And now it seems like everything is Yafa, you know. This so is what my mother delivered and uh, claimed me that once I see that, it's going to be the Coco girl that is coming. We never buy stuff like this. We never purchase this ever in the history of this house. Um, the only time I saw this was during MK Ultra at Tortillas with a Coco girl. The tortilla wraps is what I was told by my mother, uh, not by my mother, but by psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was so crazy about this. By the police, by the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, the Coco girl likes it. Simultaneously with what I demonstrated you, it's also this thing that appeared right here. Time for a cocoa girl. And that was announcement of arrival of the cocoa girl to Slovenia. That's what I was told the case is going to be. But today, we are concentrated on some other issues. We're concentrated on these beautiful gifts here. I don't think you should drink this if you have a hypertension. Uh, that's not a good stuff. If you have uh, hypertension, that's a bad stuff. All, it's not recommended. And it's exactly what psychiatrist Peter Kapsch uh, stated me with X now. They literally played. They literally played with the issues of what will be inside of the bag. Well, it looks like these days do not only select presidents, but they also get to choose. They also get to choose years ahead what exactly will be a Red Cross redistributing uh, at one point in time in the future when you will be doing your MK Ultra investigation. So that's a mountain tea right there.
For this one, however, they did state it, that this is this is a T, a T, a T, ha 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 ha, T, T. It was a the Honors Ogolin, this little criminal here who retired, and a psychiatrist Peter Kovsch inside of this kitchen with the parents, ha 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 ha. Let me see if I ever get this guy on a picture. I never Googled this. Let me see if I get him ever on a picture. The two guys together. They don't show them publicly, but these two people, these are like a shirt and pants, basically. You know, this little criminal. I already have spoken about him. So, retired already. Yanis Ogulin, director of Novo Mesto Police. Now, I would go and waste my time on it, on any of this stuff. I like this one here, maybe the best. Yeah. If you pay attention to the time, you're going to see that right after I ended recording video, the sirens went on <laughs> immediately. It was sirens. I don't know how much you heard, but it was really, they're scared like mouses, actually, you know. No, they're scared like a mouse. It's like a shit. Oh, look. I was hoping to hear some of that. Yeah. Jana Sogolin was the one who stated me. Which is, of course, as usual, everything is recorded here. Just like on every tape I do, and this one is long, about, what, 35 minutes or so. By the Novo Mesto Police Director, Jan Zogulin. Yeah. Um, so the only thing I am going to do, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is going to be used for two things. One is going to be for the court purposes, so that... You don't actually come in a basically on the doorsteps from somebody and call him ill, sick. That's really, really, I'm not going to say unpleasant. I don't give a three shit about this. Uh, whatever the lady does, I hope she's going to have a wonderful holidays. Um, till we meet each other at the court. But here's the thing. Um, you can see just how far a police director can go like this and uh, get himself like, what is it, December the 12th, 2023 on your doorsteps and he is basically calling you in your face like, by the way, you're mentally ill, basically. She didn't say directly mentally ill, but from other audio recordings, from other audio recordings where it becomes evident uh, that we were discussing an issue of psychiatry and she was taking full advantage of it. Uh, she did her best, basically, to make me feel like a shit. Uh, we do know, both of us, I'm not going to go and look for that audio. If I have to, I will. But I do have audio. I understand that I do have audios, which... We did both discuss the issue of psychiatry. Um, I'm pretty sure I do, actually. Uh, I got to be very careful with that stuff. I got to be very, very careful with that stuff because these people are really, really good at it. It doesn't matter uh, if I do or not. Uh, 
from the conversation, just as was this one here, uh, it's very, very evident that she is instigating into mental illness, simply like this. Um, from this audio recording, uh, it easily can be concluded basically exactly what I stated. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play audio recording one more time. Uh, and that's that's about it. That's all there is to it. And uh, I will say to you, Happy New Year. Uh, I would not go with this option with the Coco Girl. Here's why. Uh, this option, a Coco Girl option, uh, as much as I like her, but here's the deal. Uh, they live right next to the border with a um, with a Palestine. And now when I say Palestine, the Coco girl is already angry with me. Um, the thing is very, very political. And the problem with this picture is that based on MK Ultra, uh, the Coco girl even had a problems once she returned from Slovenia back to Israel. She was here probably the last time she was here, probably, probably I would say, I would go to about like 2000 and, uh, you know, 2017, I would go and say like 2017. Uh, and once she returned back to Israel, it was like um, 2016, 2017. She supposedly faced a lot of objections from her community for coming to rescue to me. Uh, it was, that was like a big deal. Um, it was, uh, how can I say, uh, it caused her a lot of problems. Um, it was uh, actually Benjamin Netanyahu that uh, rushed her to the rescue, and it was finally through whatever they came up with, uh, to what, whatever agreement they came to, uh, decided that uh, it will be okay, that, that uh, this would actually do okay. Uh, but it, it, the whole thing looked like uh, that her situation would not be completely clear about, you know what I mean? That's like risky stuff. Um, and really, frankly, I don't feel that this would be the right thing to do. I don't feel that this would be the right thing to do from my point of view. Uh, I like the girl. I do. Uh, but the thing is that this is very political, and I don't want the politics in between anymore. Uh, the politics caused me a lot of harm. Uh, it seems like that uh, Slovenian police is just, uh, it, it just somehow it just can't get over of this. Uh, it, it's just, uh, it seems to me like it's, it's obsession with, uh, with certain things that uh, I think they, they really, I think they cross line, okay? I'm just going to say I think that they cross line, that this is crazy, all right? Uh, I think they greatly cross line, that's another thing, and... Israel, if anything, caused a lot of problems to me. Israel was no solution. Israel even that threatened me in 2019 and 2020. I was delivered to the Israel to receive a lot of death threats, which was crazy. It was insane because I actually sided with the Israel. Uh, and I was shocked. I was surprised when I saw the news uh, that reminded me of torture again in Israel in 2019 and 2020. Uh, I'm going to skip on this opportunity. This is, this is very generous. This is very nice. Uh, however, the Israel will definitely not be 
uh, resolve in this case. I would not want any kind of Anthony Blinkens in my case. I'm just going to put it this way. I don't want to owe people like this absolutely anything. This girl, I like her, but there is other issues behind all this that I don't want to be part of it. Simple as this. I don't want to be seen as a solution to the Israel either. Um, there's been horrific stuff that happened. Uh, I'm not going to say that only to Palestinian side because it was it was stuff that shouldn't happen and that Palestine did to Israel like completely unaccountable for attack which by the way I think it was in agreement with Israel so the thing is I'm not going to meddle into this stuff but Israel caused me a lot of problems uh, too much of a problems for me to become a solution for the Israel. This is just not going to happen. So uh, that being said, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rock you one more time this audio recording. And that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. Mama. Dobar dan. Kje mama? Mama i dor. Ne znaš kaj je dor. Še mi je zvonila. Se bo prišla. Kaj bi še hodit? Imate novo avto, ne? Ne, že štirlejta. A je že štirlejta? Zdaj pa že štirlejta, kaj upala. Je pa dobro avto, ne? Ja. Zelo dobro. Ker je bilo čist nov, kar sem ga kupila. Vedno nov avto je vedno nov, ne? Ja, tri žel zlet sem na stare, kar sem se ga poproščila. Tako je nekaj na avto, ampak nov je. Moj je. Koliko ste bila stara? Tri in šestdeset. Tri in šestdeset. Kaj sem se ga lahko poproščila. Kje ste pa delala? Na policiji. Prosim? Na policiji. Na policiji ste delala? Ja. Pa ste bila čestilka, ne? Ja. Aha. Se spomnim. Ja, ampak vi ste včasih tudi v Drlenske toplice šla, ne? Tudi, ja. Kako pa to bojši že mi še tam naj? S vami so bil, kako je danes, se spomnim. Ja. Zanimivo. Kje pa je mama? Mati! Prihaja dol, prihaja dol. Čistilka, ste bila kuk let, ste pa bila čistilka tam? 19 let pa pol. Kaj ste pa prej delala? Sem bila pot v varni bute. Celo življenje ste delala, ne? Celo življenje sem ga rala. Za te šest mene. Poroče ena? Ja. Mam že vno otrake velike, že vnučke velike. Ne, ker vprašam, ker pravite, da ste bila 63 let stara, ker ste si prvič novo avto kupa, ne? To me je zanimalo. Ampak, dobro, imate pa hišo, pa vse tako, ne? Tu so pa druge stvari, ki drugi nimajo, kaj kurc avto, mislim. Ja. Mislim. Koliko je pa bil takle? Enajst jurjev. Je bil enajst jurjev. Zdaj je pa trinajst. Ampak za enajst jurjev bi kupil lahko tudi rabljen zelo dober avto. Ja, veš, ko bi pa on tam povedal, pa sem mu ga trmengal, kje je dala, je pa rekel tako. Če sem imela skus majhen avto tega, sem nekde ga pa lahko predstupil, ne? Tam bi pa enega, pa same take karavane. Mehem ga, mehem ga automobila, dobro ga pa ne boš dobro, rablen ga. Rablen ga ne. Ne. Rablen ga ne. Ja. Zaradi tega, ker jih tisti, ki mehne automobile kupijo, jih zdrajsajo. Ja. Tako, da upeko, da ni od njih nič. 
Če že dobiješ kaj, dobiješ od koga, ki ima veliko denarja, pa plača 50-60 jurijev, ja, pa ga ja. bo prodati tam za deset, ali kaj tazga, s tem, da ga ja, imeti pa... približno toliko se ne zna, vse kot kar. Ne, 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 Kaj mama spi? Aha, lej spi. Dej tule le, lej. Čokolade, ne? Ja, lej, ja. ebri, tvoje ebri, mamno ebri. Ja. Čokolade so vse moje, hvala. Ja, vse ja, prav. Ja, vidite, zdaj, tu mu se zajebalo, mama spi, ne? Da se ne važno. Saj bom dal vse. Zdaj ne, no, saj kot vedla bi jo prej se dala. Ne, saj bom dal, no, ja, ne se zvezam. Ja. Ajde. Vidim bo ta dio. Ja. Red ne tudi, vse ona vajde, tudi do dneža križa. Tako pravite, ja. Tu je do dneža križa za nov let. Ti pa dobiš za to, ki si bolan. Tu sem te jaz rihtala, drugače ne bi, ker nisi vse se taj stvar. Čakaj, kako mislite, da sem jaz bolan? Tu mi uvejte, kako mislite, da sem jaz bolan? Bolan. Kako bolan? Bolan, sem rekla, jaz da si. Ja. Tako. Ja, ampak tu ni prav, če rečete nekomu, da je bolan, če mu ne poveste, če mu ne razložite, da ko mislite. Ja, pa včasi pa bil, no, če taj nisi več, če počas bil bolj bolan. Ampak, kot otrok. Kako, kako se ne je zbil bolan? Kako, kot otrok? Ja, ne vem, ker si nek bil, ko si prišel domov, ko te nekaj popeklo, ali pa ne vem, kako ano. Jaz ne tu pa, tu pa ni lepo, mislim, tu pa ni lepo darilo, če se tako bom povedal. Pripadate. A ja, mislite, tebi, mislite... Tebi uh, pa uh, on mu je, uh, kom še, nadi repcovi, ki je bo ona, ne, pa tudi ne, ona ni zdaj bo ona več. Ona že hoti in vse, ampak ona to dobi. Pa uh, on, veš, kot je od Petra. Ampak so se jo ja, predsalili, ga tudi ne. No, lej, tu je tako. Ja, ja. Tu je tako. Priden bod, malo me je rad, spoštuje, ja, dok aha. je maš. Pa ona je pa fej spridna, ona hod, vsaj ga hadet, Boga je na. Kurac je Boga, zakaj mislite, da je Boga? Kdo ga je pa dolgo tam noč včera? Kdo ga je dolgo tam noč? Sam. Ja, politična stvar je, ne? Ja. Samo zdaj mislim, kaj je Boga? Mislim? Da ma, ja, lej. Kaj mislim? Ka vsak dan gre, no? Pejš, tu je pa za tako ženska. Pejalo, in jaz kaj čujem, kukar hoče, ampak tako Čim, hoče, če, tako, tako, hoče tako včasih openem, včasih jo ne, kukar jo prijme. Nisem, nisem, jaz sem jim povedal, naj tega ne dela. Tu sem vam, tu sem vsem povedal, naj fatra ne naredijo tega. Ja, nisem. Kaj čmo, ljudje ne morajo? Ne mora če stojit, ne? Ne mora če stojit, le in ne da. Da bi bilo malo, veš? Ne vem, nisem ne razumem tega spod. Kaj? Ja, in jaz ne razumem. In jaz ne razumem. Ja. Ona, mo pred src boliči in ne gre. A ja, ne, 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 ker k- hod kočete, to je super. Ja. To je zelo redo, jaz sem zelo, zelo vesel. Ja. Ja. Jaz sem mogel le tistih drugih srdnji, jaz sem zadovoljen. Ja. Ampak tiste pa gre na naravnost na policijo. Ok, vi o temu noče razglavo, da vas razumem, ampak... Ne, ne. Ma eno stvar, kar neče povedati, tako bi. Se o tem se ona ne pogovarja. Ne, ona, ona, ona ima prav, da se o temu ne pogovarja. Jaz čist razumem tu, zastopim tu. Ja, Samo nima pa prav veliko stvari, ki dela. Če prav te mamo me ira, pa to ne brej. Jaz ne vem, če imel kdo mamo, pa fatra, tako red, ki se nisem. No, vidiš, to je pa zelo lepo. Ne, ne, nisem tudi dejstvo. Ja. Tu ni, da bi jaz, 
Ne vem, kdo bil v taki situaciji, tako kot sem jaz. Kako bi to bilo, če bi kdo drug bil? A dijo, mi se ne pražim. Lepo so me te dijo. Hvala vam. Ajde.